Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Charlotte. I'm a nursing student at AUT. I love reading and after the longest summer break, university has finally started back. Join me for a productive and busy week where I continue to settle into our new flat, spend time with my friends and plunge straight back into revision, lectures and a state of stress. Before we get into that though, don't forget to like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So I started off my Monday morning by first making my bed and then getting myself ready. Before I got straight into it by doing my washing. I then made myself a black coffee and I sorted out the flat weekly whiteboard which we keep on our fridge. Good morning everybody, happy Monday, I hope you're doing well. I'm just going to be a little bit more quiet because I think some people in the flat are still sleeping. So yeah, I'm super excited because this week university is starting back and I've got like my first set of things to do today. I've actually, so using my academic planner that you'll have seen in my other video, um, I've made like my to-do list for the day, professional quotes, I've like filled it all out. Today it's going to be quite busy. I don't have a lot of uni stuff I actually need to do. I just have the methods of research and inquiry thing at nine and that's the only thing I've got for uni. But I obviously want to do other stuff. I want to finish my fluids and electrolytes revision. I want to clean the flat today. I've decided that Monday is going to be cleaning day. I'm online. Shannon I think is also online today. Busy busy. So I've still got half an hour before first uni thing of the year. I've made myself some coffee. Coffee. And I'm not feeling too hungry at the moment but I kind of also wanted to eat something. So I'm just having a moose up. To kick the week off with uni, I started simple by going online and booking myself in to complete some employability events, which I have to do for my AUT Edge Award. I'm back again and I'm very, very confused. Maybe I don't have a 9am online tutorial. I don't know. Yeah, so we recently moved to Canvas from Blackboard, which is like an online platform, student platform, which has all of your like courses and stuff on it. And I read somewhere on Canvas that I had a 9am like tutorial or introductory thing but I can't find it anywhere and it's now 9 o'clock so either I'm going to be late or, or I was mistaken and there is no 9am thing. I think I'm going to say that there's no 9am thing because there's no links anywhere and there's no announcement about it. I think I misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> After deciding that there was no 9am tutorial, I began preparation for my lectures for the week. So that Monday morning I was working on getting through the first session of my Methods of Research and Inquiry paper, which is a second year paper that pretty much teaches you how to research and approach research papers critically. So I was going through the readings and making notes, as well as making a few notes on the mini lecture that they had also posted. Right guys, so it is now 12.57, which means my um, job search strategies webinar thing for the AUT Edge Award is starting in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go online and start joining the Zoom call. After my job search strategies employability event, I was feeling less productive and in dire need of a break. So I swept and cleaned the flat to knock another task off of my to-do list. I also did the same with my room, giving it a good sweep and a wipe down so that it would be fresh and clean for the rest of the week. Good time, good time. Good time. Good time. Good time. 
Then Shannon and I took a quick drive to Kmart in search of some things for the flat. But if you ever tell her I said that, I will deny it. I will never say it. And when I got back, it was right back to work. I was working on my revision sheet on the renal system, which was helpful because our fundamentals of acute nursing lecture this week was on fluids and electrolytes, and the bit of revision really helped make some concepts make sense. I wasn't lying when I said it was a busy week, because right after that, Finn and Amy came around for dinner, we just got fish and chips from down the road, and we had them back at the flat, and it was just really, really nice seeing them and spending time with them. And then to finish off my Monday night, I made myself a cup of English breakfast tea. I finished off my renal system revision and then I made a to-do list and my academic planner for the next day. And then thoroughly exhausted, it was time to go to sleep. So Tuesday started off with a quick shower and a calendar change because it was the 1st of March. I then opened up the curtains of our flat to let in the morning sun before making a coffee and my breakfast. I made yogurt with chia, maple and cereal and I ate it while enjoying the next chapters of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen which is what I'm currently reading. Good morning everybody. Tuesday, second day of uni and already I'm a little stressed because I keep getting emails from AUT saying that my fees are due even though I've like applied for a student loan and I've had problems with the student loan because study loan have been really slow and I've finally gotten it sorted but AUT hasn't been informed by study link that it's been sorted yet but first in about 12 minutes I've got my LinkedIn profiles, create an engaging profile, and um, watch is another AUTH employability webinar thing. There's so much to do and it's just gonna be a very, very busy day. So my AUC Edge webinar on how to create an engaging LinkedIn profile went from 10 till 11 that morning and it was actually really, really helpful so I'm quite glad that I booked in for it. Afterwards I just started adding some Anki cards to different decks which filled in the time before my first fundamentals of acute nursing lecture which started at 12. Right, I'm about to start my first lecture so we're probably not going to be learning much apart from like how the course is going to work. <laughs> Afterwards, Hannah and I took a short drive down to Pack and Save for our weekly grocery shop. We stocked up on food and essentials and I also fueled up my car before we headed back to fill up our pantry. <laughs> Feeling peckish, I then heated up some pumpkin soup and made myself some lunch before getting straight back to work by completing some compulsory elements for fundamentals of acute nursing and also starting on some of the readings. Shen cooked an amazing Japanese curry for dinner. It's actually perfectly vegetables, neither over nor at vegetables. <laughs> so perfectly vegetables and not <laughs> vegetables. Okay, so update with Shannon. We are going to be going <laughs> to Chemist Warehouse because my sister is a close contact of someone that has just tested positive for COVID and Hannah's like makeup academy class has all come down with COVID. So we're going to go to Chemist Warehouse and get some rat tests and then also I'm going to look around for some stuff that we can keep us well with. Yeah that sounds correct. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully no one has COVID because <laughs> that, that is the ideal situation here. Yeah that no one has and yeah. Hannah is just like a lucky lucky bean and that yeah. she's the only person in her makeup class that doesn't have it. We're just waiting for the Bluetooth to connect so I can play Casey Mueller. Or Melua. 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 So update is that they had sold out of rat tests, but we did find this cold drill stuff, so we're taking that. And now we're going to pack and save to get lemon and honey stuff. We're just gonna be prepared just in case we end up getting COVID. Which Shannon thinks we definitely will end up getting COVID. I am positive. So if Hannah has COVID, oh, there's no doubt in my mind. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, well. I really want to go 
Right. I suppose you can't just cross across those sort of things, can you? No, you can't. No. There's a run out there, it's all good. Wednesday was an early start and a busy day. I had a job interview at 9, so I got myself ready for that and did some last minute preparation for it. So, I'm kind of, I think I'm ready. I'm just gonna put some of the lip, lip gloss on. But um, what I'm doing now is just preparing for my job interviews. So I'm applying for a healthcare assistant job. I don't think I'm gonna get it just because of the fact that I don't have any experience in a hospital ward. I'm not too bothered, I'm just gonna see how it goes. If I do get it, it's amazing. Um, I've also applied for a job with Ryman Healthcare as like um, a housekeeper. But yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, see how it goes. Just go off the flow. I'm just, I'm just gonna not stress. A few moments later. Oh, I'm like, I was like shaking, oh my gosh. But um, so I just had my, my job interview. It went really, really well. I'm so happy with that it did go really well um they said that they obviously they can't hire me until i've done my first sort of placement so my placements go from like april to may so at the end of may would be when i'd be like allowed to start and they could hire me so they're gonna call me back around may and fingers crossed oh my gosh but i'm like shaking but now i've actually got to get on with the rest of the day um earlier before my job interview I was like making a to-do list for the day and my academic planner so I've got all of these things that I want to get done completed that so I can tick that off so I've got a busy day today busy busy day so we're just gonna get some breakfast get out of this shirt and crack on so I put the dishes away while making myself some croissants and then I joined Mr Darcy and Elizabeth Bennett for breakfast after that, I took Hannah and Shannon's temperature as a precaution for COVID, and all results came back healthy and normal. And then Shannon and I took a drive over the bridge to Junk and Disorderly, as well as some other antique stores in search of a dining chair. I finally found the perfect chair and what made me really excited about it was how pink it was. I then made myself some noodles and dumplings for lunch before getting straight back to work. Alright, so it's now 3 o'clock and I haven't really done anything today for uni. I have edited and uploaded my Moving Journals vlog and scheduled it so it's going to be up next Monday. I have my job interview, I got a chair which I needed to get, so I have been productive but just not with uni stuff. So because I'm not feeling super productive, what I do to get into like a study mindset, it's a bit silly but it, it really works for me. I first used my forest app because I like the idea of planting trees and earning the money to be able to get more trees that also sounds very silly but i use forest and then if you go onto youtube and search up harry potter asmr rooms i li listen to that while i'm studying because it makes me feel like i'm like at hogwarts and stuff and it's just like gets me into the mood to actually like just sit down and get on with stuff i feel like hermione is studying with me and stuff it's Again, as I say, it sounds very silly, but it works for me. I like try and make studying a little bit fun. So I got through perhaps 45 minutes of work before I started feeling really drowsy and needed to take a nap to recharge. Um, this year I'm trying to be gentler with myself by appreciating the work that I do get done instead of fixating on all of the tasks that I don't complete. So I'm trying to adopt the mindset of it's better to do a little bit of work rather than no work at all. So later on that night, I got into some comfy clothes and began going through and making notes on one of the essential readings for my Fundamentals of Acute Nursing paper. It was a really long chapter and I didn't finish going through it that day, but it was really informative and I did enjoy making notes on it. This is what I've made. It doesn't look incredibly appetizing, but you know, I love Yorkshire puddings, I love corn and I didn't really want to do too much so yeah good morning everyone 
everybody happy Thursday so already I had made myself some coffee had a shower made my bed made my to-do list for the day this is my to-do list and what I'm going to start doing now is finishing off the methods of research and technology things I've got a lecture at 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. for Maori health and then I've got an hour break before my next lecture which is from 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. which is for fundamentals of acute nursing and then straight after that I've got to head off to work what they're doing 4 till 10 tonight so the first thing to attend to was my Maori health lecture it was just an introduction to the paper and to the lecturer it felt very casual and so I wasn't really taking many notes because I had so much to get done that day, I was working on a few other things while listening to the lecture, which is what you can see me doing here. I was taking a few notes, but I was also working on some other things too. As soon as the lecture finished, I started getting myself ready for work, as there would be no time to do so after my second lecture. So I did my makeup, I made my dinner, and got my work bag ready, ready as well as putting out our rubbish bins and delinting my uniform. After hurriedly making some pumpkin soup for lunch, I logged into my second lecture of the day, which was for Fundamentals of Acute Nursing. This lecture was on fluids and electrolytes, I think, and I just wrote out my notes based on the lecture slides. I'm at home, and I was still almost was late for my Fundamentals lecture, because I had other stuff that I have to get done, because as soon as this lecture finishes, I have to get myself off to work. So I was like trying to get everything ready and prep for the rushing. So now I've got a five minute break. I'm going to go wash my bowl and do something else. I don't know. When the lecture finished, I threw on my uniform and I raced out the door so that I could get to work on time. I actually timed it really well because I had enough time to visit my parents and Miss Peachy before, which really set me up for a good shift. <laughs> She's fine. I then went to work, had a good shift, and then came straight back home. heading to the city for my employability thing. It's a bit rainy today, so I'm gonna try and get to the bus stop as quick as possible. Um, yeah. So for those of you that don't know, I'm currently completing the AUT Edge Award, which is an award that my university offers to give students an edge in employability. So that morning I took the bus into the city to get to the AUT City Campus for a meeting to check over my CV. So after my meeting, I met up with Shannon in Britain Mart for some Starbucks before we headed to the cloud to pick up the rat tests we ordered. Apart from that, I didn't really film much on Friday, so at the end of the night, I got into my PJs and I went to sleep. So Saturday morning started with a trip to mum and dad's for breakfast. I got to see Peachy and spend some much needed time with them all before I went and visited my grandma. That Saturday I was feeling kind of low and unproductive so I just did a little bit of work. I just did what I could before calling it a night and watching Crimson Peak on Netflix. Everybody, happy Sunday, end of the week, end of my first week back at uni, so thank you for those of you that have stuck along. Today's going to be very busy because I didn't do like anything yesterday, but today, as you can quite clearly see, my to-do list is very, very full. I've already gotten some of like the more menial, easy tasks done, it's like I've paid rent, topped up my phone, made my bed, so I'm going to finish off my fluids and electrolytes revision then plan next week make sure that next week's all prepared to be as productive and smooth as possible i started my morning off with a quick walk around the block to wake myself up a bit before writing out some more fluids notes for fundamentals of acute nursing 
After that I made pancakes and I read some more of Pride and Prejudice before taking my first attempt at, at the drug calculations quiz. So I'm really really bad at maths but this is my first attempt for my drug calculations test. So I got 75% which I think is really really good for me so that's reassuring. I just have to get that one I think I did get right but I just wrote it wrong so I need to make sure that I'm writing it in the correct way. This one, now that I'm looking at it, does make a lot of sense as to why I got it wrong and why it's 10. So I can revise that. Some of the other ones I have no clue, but we're gonna go over them in like class and stuff so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I just need to be a bit more confident and also revise basic <laughs> mathematic formulas because I don't, I'm not, as you can see, I have had to search up <laughs> a lot of stuff, like how many millimeters in the gram and stuff is I just, I find it hard to remember maths, mathsy stuff. But yeah, 75% for a first attempt. And I'm, you've got 30 minutes to do it, so I didn't even use up all the time. So yeah. So the rest of the day was spent working on my fluids and electrolytes revision and my notes, and then also planning out the following week. to get some stuff for dinner. So my first week of university finished with me cooking my flatties some enchiladas and having dinner with them overlooking our incredible view of Auckland City at night. So that was my first week of my second year of nursing school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. I hope you have a lovely day and a fabulous week and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye!